Welcome to Do It Yourself e Liquid Recipes. I'm John, I'm a flavor compounder, and today we're going to take a quick look at Desert Ship Blend by Flavor Art. This concentrate, it's another good tobacco to start with tobacco recipes. This is a great flavor for blends. You can use it with mild tobaccos like the RY4 for tasty and mellow recipes, or it can be mixed with dark tobaccos or even liqueurs for a deeper and darker taste profile. An average ratio to use it in a mix will be anywhere from 1% up to 6%. I made a solo mix to try it and by itself it's a very special flavor. Definitely not for everyone, but if you want to try it, I found for a solo mix the best ratio to use it will be Desert Ship at 5% with a 1% of sweetener and 1% of Vape Wizard blended at 24% of propylene glycol with 70% of vegetable glycerin. The best flavor to mix this concentrate I found are other tobaccos, rum flavors, chocolate flavors, some spices like anise or cinnamon, and some fruits go well with it also like banana and pear that I have tried. You can also combine it with nut flavors to get a close taste to the 555 e-juice or cigarettes. When you are using Desert Ship, it can take well sweetener, but not too much of it. I wouldn't recommend more than 2% of sweetener or ethyl maltol because it creates a weird throat heavy aftertaste. So about 1% it would be a perfect ratio. Now as for the stepping time, this is very similar to many other tobacco flavors and it will require a longer stepping, usually around 2 weeks. Especially if a high nicotine ratio has been used, then it will need even more time to get mature and blend better. If you are looking to start with DIY tobacco flavors, then give a look to Desert Ship. See if you are interested in the profile it provides and if you think it will be useful for the mixes you will be making. It is a good introduction for tobacco flavors and also can be used very well at lower ratios to help other tobaccos stand out better. There is also another flavor called Desert Ship made by a different company called Flavor Express. Now this one is a little harder to find than the flavor at Concentrate but it is still in some stores out there. The Flavor Express Desert Ship is a little different since they were trying to replicate an exact tobacco brand and taste but it is still very good from what I remember the last time I tried. It was a little less spicy and it was much more floral than the version of Flavor Art. I will try to get some concentrate from Flavor Express and make a review for it in the future too. If you are already using any of the two concentrates, leave me a comment and let me know how you find them in your mixes already. Leave also a comment if you have any questions or just to say hello. So that is all the information I have again for today. See you on the next episode.